Hi everybody! Welcome and thank you so much for checking out my channel. My name is Tani and I'm an independent author and somebody who just really loves great stories. So on this channel I talk about writing, books I've enjoyed, and lessons I've learned on my publishing journey. One of the skills that I've picked up as an indie author is book formatting, and that is something that I've actually come to really enjoy, especially for print books. And it's something that, honestly, I think I've gotten pretty good at over the years. I will pop up some images on the screen so you can see what some of my books look like on the inside. I have done the print formatting myself for all of these books, and I plan to continue doing that for any books that I self-publish in the future. I've gotten several questions and comments about my book formatting, and people are usually pretty surprised to learn that I do my formatting in Microsoft Word. I realize that Microsoft Word is not the best formatting software out there, but it is something that a lot of writers have access to already, and you can actually do a lot with it if you know how to. In this video series, I am sharing some tips and tricks that I've learned that hopefully you can use to format your own books if you decide that you want to do that as well. Today I am going to show you guys how to insert a map or other like full page image spreads into your book. I'm really excited about this. This is like one of my favorite things to see in books and to do. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it in Microsoft Word. So here we go. We're going to scroll up to the top of our Book of Pirates, and this is the placeholder two pages that I have left for the map. Again, the book starts on the right side, and then when we flip that page over, we are going to have this beautiful map spread out across two pages. Since I don't have an actual map that I've made for this book, we are just going to go ahead and use the one that I created for my young adult fantasy novel, Tethered Spirits. You're going to go over here to Insert and make sure that you're on the page that you want to be inserting the image on. And we're going to go to pictures from this device. We are going to navigate to the pictures. And once you've found the picture that you want to use, I have the left side of the map, and that's what the one that we're going to work on first. And that goes right there. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to insert picture again from this device and we're going to insert the right page of the map. When you are doing this again, you want to make sure that your images are, the layout is set up to be in front of the text over here. If you have it set up any other way, it's going to do some kind of wonky things when you try to move the image around and resize it. So we want to make sure that it's in front of the text. And then we're just going to line this corner up right here with the top corner of the book and make sure that there's like no white showing. So actually, there we go. If it's hard to move with your mouse, sometimes it kind of like tries to lock in place somewhere where you don't really want it, but you can use the arrow keys as well on your keyboard to adjust that. And then we're going to hold shift down while we drag this corner out so that it keeps the correct proportions of everything. And that one is all set up. It looks like it's off the edge just a little bit. Um, if I move it down, then it's off the top. So it actually needs to be just a little bit bigger. And it's not really working very good. So I'm actually going to come over here to picture format. And I just need the height to be that um, 9.25 is what size we have for our um, the height of our pages here. So I adjusted that and now it should let me move it up just a little bit. A lot of the times I'll find that I have just a little bit of a sliver of white at the edges. So you just want to go around and check that really quick and make sure that everything looks good. And then we're going to move this one up to the corner again and just do the same thing. Um, and I'm actually just going to resize this over here. So we're going to go to picture format and we're going to go to the size. We want it to be 9.25 inches and that will keep the ratio for the width as well. Let me zoom in and I think you can see this a little better. Right here, do you see this? There's just like a little bit of an edge of white right there along the top and we don't want that. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna use my arrow key to just move it up. And so I still have just a little bit. We'll tap that arrow key again. And now we have it so that it's lined up and everything looks good. So there's our map and it's looking really nice. One thing that I learned the hard way with Heathered Spirits when I was creating my map and then trying to put my map into my book and then ordering proof copies and stuff like that is that I put some things near the center of the map that ended up like getting cut off and 
being very difficult to read. This little town right here, Pahari, even the way it looks now, like that was as far as I could adjust it, but it used to be over a little more. Like I just had the houses moved over to the left a little more. So they actually were getting cut off on that inside part of the map. So when you're creating your maps and when you're thinking about where you want to put everything, that's something to think about that I never really considered before, but you do want to make sure that nothing is going to get trapped there in the middle and going to be hard to read or difficult to see in there. And now we're going to go ahead and go down to where we want our book to start. And I talked about those cool little section dividers that I like to see in books. And I'm going to go ahead and pop up a few on the screen. These are some of my own that I've done for my book and also some that I've seen other people do. Um, and I always really like things like this. I think they're really pretty and really cool, especially for like, I don't know, fantasy books and things like that. Um, I just think that they're really pretty and really awesome. So that's what we're going to do for our little pirate book here. So when I am creating these images, um, again, I usually use Photoshop to create my images, but you can use other programs. It's really whatever works best for you. I'm going to go ahead and go down here to Photoshop and show you this is our little image that I've created for the scene divider. And when I'm doing these, because I want it to stretch across both pages, I will just create it as a single image. And I want to make sure that the size matches up with the actual book size. So if I go over here to image size, you can see the width is that 6.125 inches. I just doubled that because we want it to stretch across both pages. The height is not going to change. It's still just going to be that 9.25. Um, again, this is for a six by nine inch book, but because we are working with um, images that we want to extend all the way to the edge of the page, we have that little extra adjustment for the bleed. But when everything gets trimmed, it will be six by nine inches. Photoshop has this really nice feature where I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. But if I drag out this line from the center and I'm starting to get close to the middle and then it will just snap into place to show exactly where the middle is. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just chop this image in half because I don't want to insert the full thing. I want to insert one on one side and one on the other. Otherwise, um, Word is not going to let me do that. So we're actually going to crop this. I'm going to do the left side first, and I'm just going to drag that all the way to the middle. I'm going to push enter, and then I'm going to save this uh, pirate divider one, and I want it to be saved as a JPEG. And I'm going to come back over here and undo what I just did. And then I'm not going to crop it the other way. And again, we're just going to save that. So now we've saved that. And now we're going to go back into our book file. Um, so we have our title page, we have our copyright, we have this dedication, and then we want the book to start. I always like to check and make sure that I have the right thing going on. I know that this is on the right side of the book. So this is on the left, this is on the right. And then I do want the spread to start on the back side of that dedication on the left hand side again. So we're going to go ahead and insert a picture from this device and here's the first one and then we'll go ahead and insert the second one all right um, again we're just going to drag this to the top to the corner make sure that we have it set up to be in front of the text right there same thing with this one set up to be in front of the text it's usually this is a little easier if you just want to adjust it in the inches over here and type that in yourself that tends to work a little better i'm going to zoom in again and just kind of see where we're at on the edges there it looks like we've got a little bit of a white edge when you're going sideways sometimes it doesn't like you to use the arrows that's what i tried to do right here and it it didn't like that it moved everything else so if the arrows are not working for you, you just have to kind of take your mouse and drag it as best as you can. If you absolutely like cannot get it, I've had a couple of times where I just, it, it doesn't like me. It doesn't want to do what I need it to do. And so I end up having just a tiny bit of a white edge. Nine times out of 10, that's going to get trimmed out anyways. Um, and so you don't need to worry about it a ton, but I do like to just make sure that everything's lined up as best as I can get it. The other thing to keep in mind with this is I have this set up. So again, this is the left page right here, and then this is the right page. And then if I go down, 
page one of my book, I still want that to start on the right side of the book. I do not want it to start immediately after this section divider. I don't want it to start on this left side. So I'm actually just going to leave a blank space, a blank page right there, which means that that page will just be blank and it'll be white and then the book will start on the right side. All right, so we have our image set up now and it stretches all the way across both sides of the page. It looks awesome. I'm super excited about that. This is just an image I created myself and you guys are welcome to do that as well and just make whatever you want. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. I would encourage you to look for inspiration at Barnes & Noble. I like to go through all of the books on the shelf and, and look at formatting ideas and see what looks awesome and what I like. There's lots of examples online as well but look at your own bookshelf see what you like best and just kind of go from there if you have somebody that does your graphics or your book formatting you can ask them to help you with some of this stuff as well it's it's not super difficult to get it all put into place and then it it looks really good if you look at the description box down below i have linked a sample word document that you can download and play around with some of this formatting yourself it's a document that has already been formatted. It looks just like the one that I just showed you in the video. If this video was useful to you, please hit that like button and be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know what you think or to let me know if there's other things that you want me to cover in this video series. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as I post more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!